<laughs> Guys, I thought I was saying my thing. Oh, yeah, I said it there for me. Hello, good looking internet surfers. That's y'all. That's y'all. <laughs> Guys, remember last time we were all together like this was in our kitchen back in Italy and we were telling you about our adventure that was to come in South Africa. Well, we're somewhere else now and we'll tell you at the end of this video. But first, we wanted to go over some of our favorite experiences on our South Africa vacation. Let's start with Bali. Bali, what did you like best about your time in South Africa? I like the African dancing because I never knew there was like so many Africans in this culture. Oh, you mean like different groups of Africans, yeah. like tribes and yeah. Okay, <laughs> so many Africans. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to Africa, that's probably one of the most overwhelming things coming from Europe. There's a lot of Africans over here. <laughs> Lots of different African tribes and cultures. And what's interesting with that experience is that they taught us how the various tribes came to settle in South Africa. Yeah. Not all of them came from South Africa. Mm -hmm. A lot came from different regions from within Africa. So that was very interesting. And I love all the meanings that their dancers have, like how yes. the dancers mean different things. And that was really cool because that day, Bali got to get in touch with her African roots. <laughs> and shake her booty. <laughs> shake that booty. Gabby, what is your favorite experience? My absolute favorite experience, even though all of them were just amazing, was the big swing that I did. Like, that was just awesome. I know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> um, if you guys have seen the video, and if you haven't, go watch it. Just before I was about to jump off a cliff, what? I was basically crying my eyes out because I was second guessing what I was about to do. I'm like, seriously, am I gonna do this? But the emotions that were running through my head when I was doing the jump were just amazing. I can't even describe them. It's just. It was amazing. Like I definitely redo it in a heartbeat. You're crazy. <laughs> I'm from a father's point of view, watching you go over like that, it didn't make me feel very good. Yeah. I couldn't I didn't, like that. I didn't want to edit that video for like a solid two weeks after it because <laughs> it just made me feel so emotional watching my baby girl just yeah. fall you know, a cliff. When oh. I watched it, I started crying right. because I felt <laughs> so like, how could we even let her do that? Do that? What <laughs> bad parents what are bad parents? <laughs> Yeah. Just oh, what if that rope didn't work, you know? Like, yeah. Okay, well, you're not dead. Gabby's still here. We're good. No, of okay. course it would have worked. <laughs> do not do that again. <laughs> here? Can, oh, yes, can the camera see you? Can everybody see you? My beautiful face. Oh. Okay, so I have to say, it was, uh, everything was really nice and majestic and, like, you know, all the, like just like JP. But mm, my favorite has to be the oh. zip line. Because zip line. Zip. It was a zipping through the sky like bear grills. Did you feel like bear grills for the day? Uh, pretty much. I was, eat, I was drinking my pee and eating fish, like fried fishes. Uh, <laughs> fried fishes. <laughs> fried. Yeah. Bear grills can't fishes. eat. Sorry, I don't he know. He eats insects and <laughs> snakes and things. <laughs> you are you are eating insects as you're flying through the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of snakes, Louise, did you enjoy that fear factor at the reptile park? Ooh. Okay, that was also a highlight for me because it was seriously conquering my fear. Yes, JP, I did. I conquered a big fear because I am seriously afraid of snakes, spiders, all that type of thing. I don't know why. Like, when I see a snake, Claude always laughs at me. I break out into hives. Just seeing a snake, I get hives on my body. So that was a big deal for me to overcome that that was pretty awesome and i just love seeing like the work that they were doing at the rehabilitation center mm. and the education yeah. center because i thought that was really interesting that these animals deserve the right education because people already have so many misconceptions about them so i enjoyed that and i still look at back at the pictures of us holding these big snakes oh. we are crazy, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but Something I think JP loved, and I will speak on his behalf. May I, JP? Can I talk on your behalf? See? Si. Yes? See? Si. So, okay, let's put that back in before he says anything else. Okay. So, <laughs> JP loved the butterflies. Yes. He loved all the butterflies landing on his stroller. He was trying to touch them. 
them and squash them. But yeah, that was definitely a highlight for JP. He really loved that. So if you're a mom and you have babies or little toddlers, I mean, even big adults would love it. But I think especially the little ones, they're just fascinated by the butterflies. Okay, for me, guys, and first before I go on what I enjoyed, here is a clue of where our next destination is. Look at my top. No, I'm not a Jimmy Buffett <laughs> fan. No, I actually am. I am a huge Jimmy Buffett fan. But hey, Claude, Jimmy Buffett called and wants a shirt back. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy said that to me at the airport when I wore the shirt. Um, I love but this should give you an idea where we are right now. Okay, wait. Wait. Pause the video. Pause, everybody freeze. Go down below into our comments, right where you think we are right now. Yeah. Right. Yes, and yes, then yes, yes. Yeah. at the end of the video, check if you're right. We'll Good see idea, right. Gabby. We'll see Thank you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the shark cage diving for me was amazing. I really, really mm, enjoyed it. Yeah. It wasn't just being able to <laughs> swim with the sharks, well, <laughs> having the protection of a cage around you, but also that I was able to do it with my father. Mm in South Africa and the whole adventure of actually getting out I don't know if you guys caught it but in the beginning of that video I struggle <laughs> to get and Louise struggles to even get on the boat so that for us was a huge challenge hang on in my defense I felt that this needed to be said in the video and there should have been a little box that the side of my boat was at an angle and it was like a meter and a half high to try to get into the boat. So in fairness, excuses, it was excuses. very hard. I was in I the know, water I know my trying to get side, out. But well, my this side. is my excuse. That South African food had to try and lug it all over onto the boat. <laughs> but that was an amazing adventure. And to get so close to those amazing creatures, we really, I built up an appreciation for sharks oh, yeah. after that experience. Yeah. But I must say, I've always loved sharks. Like I am not afraid of sharks because I've always grown up in the ocean, swimming. I'm not afraid of sharks and I really enjoyed that experience in fact I think I would have even swam with them without the cage because they were just so calm so tranquil and when you also read the statistics on sharks you will learn they never really bite people it's like you have more chance of everything else happening to you in life than by being bitten by a shark I think only one in a few people a year are bitten out of all the millions of sharks swimming in the oceans yeah. so that was really beautiful and we Love that experience. I just thought those creatures were just amazing. And the boat ride to get oh, out and to come back in was just beautiful. Guys, those were just a few of our experiences. Yeah. We enjoyed so many more things. Mm. So go check out our playlist of our South Africa vacation. There is so much to see, so many laughs. The mm. wildlife reserves we went yes. to. Yeah. We had so many wonderful experiences. The swimming, I mean the hippos. Seeing the hippos on the boats, yeah. and just oh, yeah, yeah. riding the, the horses the out yeah. in the game parks. Oh, everything Amazing. really, really cool. Something that was really special, and that we didn't capture a lot of it for you because, um, you know, we also just want to respect our family's privacy is being with our family. Yes. That's JP, you know, JP. where we were born, and that's where ah, we come from. Hi. And we just really enjoyed, I didn't even get emotional talking about it, seeing our family. It's always wonderful to be with our family, to see our family, to spend time with my mom and my dad. And you get to spend time with your mom and your dad and your siblings. Yeah. So that was also a really special time for us. And that's what makes it hard to leave as a family. Yeah. Because the experiences we can have everywhere yes. and we can come back. But it's always hard to leave the family. So family, yeah. we do love you family. Yeah, yeah. And you're also part of the family. Have you been guessing where we are right now? Come on, guys. It's, it's easy. not Hawaii. I mean, look at our lovely tans. Okay, let's give some let's give some hints. Okay, it is hot and it's like it's so good. Hot. humid. It is. That's why I might look like I'm melting because it's <laughs> we are not like desert heat. This is a hint. It is like humid. Humid heat. heat. Like very humid. There are palm trees outside. Okay, palm trees. But we're not on an island. And no. there is a very interesting person we will be meeting. He has captivated yeah. the world and he talks with a very squeaky voice. And he has two ears. JP! Yes, everybody's what? got two ears. Oh yeah, we all have two ears. <laughs> two big round black ears. Yes. Mm -hmm. And a little black nose. And a little black tail. What are you guys yes, talking he about? His name is Mickey Mouse. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I was explaining you. <laughs> I'm like, what's going uh, on here? Yeah. 
Guys, we are in Orlando, Florida. Yeah. And we will be here for a while and we're going to share our adventures with you. There is so much to do yeah. here. So, so, so much. And we hope to capture just a little bit of it for you yeah. to enjoy. I have been speaking with Mickey personally, <laughs> organizing a special trip to get you guys with us there so we can share some very special things with you. We are also going to be here for one of my bucket list things and that is for Halloween. I've always wanted to have an American Halloween and to do real yes. trick or treating. So we are going to do that. <laughs> oh, we are going to cross that off the bucket list for everybody. Okay, we will eat all the candy for you as well, <laughs> so you don't have to carry that that burden. Of course, you know, I'll do it. Okay, if I must. And we will also be featuring really cool things in our channel. So we will be doing some really cool, awesome Halloween arts, crafts, yes. baking, and cookie treat things. So that is all to come in that the next while, good. and we look forward to sharing this all with you while we are here in the United States. So guys, please subscribe because yes. you don't want to miss anything. Mm -hmm. And if you subscribe, you get notifications of our latest video. So go right now, go right, right, right now and subscribe. We and appreciate it. Make comments in the videos. Tell us where you want us to go. Anything you want us to check out for you. We'd love to feature it. Yeah. yeah. And meet you. Maybe. Hey. Yeah, maybe we can meet some of the fans. <laughs> yeah. Some of the family. <laughs> And we can share that candy. <laughs> Guys, it's been nice chatting with you again, connecting with you again, and thank you for staying with us on our adventures. And here's to another great adventure, guys. <laughs>